Welcome back. Problem five. Problem five. The figure below shows the electric field lines for two charged particles separated by a small distance. All right. Seems reasonable. Determine the ratio of Q1 to Q2. Ah, ah, I like this. All right. So the density, volumetric density, eh. So the density of electric field lines will determine the strength of Q. So when we look at this, we see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So I'm going to say that Q1 is a 6. So we have the 6 that are attached to Q1 and Q2. But then we also have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have a total of 18. So Q1 is 1 third, or 6 18ths, of Q2. So I'm not quite sure what answer they want here, but I'm going to say 0.33333. Repeating. I don't think you have a thing, a little marker for repeating, so it's just 0.333 would probably be sufficient. Determine what the signs are of Q1 and Q2. Well, if you've succeeded in homework to this point, you have either actually understand this question or you have cheated so much that you should probably go back and study a little bit. What are the signs of Q1 and Q2? All right, so Q1 is a sink, so it's going to be negative because the arrows go into it, just like the faucet sink. Bloop. And Q2 is a source because charges come out of it. Therefore, it's going to be positive. All right. I like that problem. Not too hard. Makes me feel good and confident with myself. I like that. like it. All right. On to number six.